Emma, you were amazing back there. I bet Amber's throwing a tantrum in the meeting room right now. She's probably screaming at Nathan for letting you take the lead role. Yeah, Emma, you took everyone there by surprise. I would have never thought you could be so explosive. Seeing you stand up for yourself makes my heart swell with pride. I entered the industry at 17 and became New York's top model by 23. In a career spanning more than nine years, I had seen it all. It goes without saying, some people have been in the industry all their lives, yet they're still oblivious to how it works. That's because they haven't been hurt like you have. Correct. Anyway, it's time to look ahead and shine. Let's focus on Mexico now. Emma suddenly remembered that Eric had asked her to give him the details of her Mexico trip. She pulled out her phone and texted him the specifics. She was unsure of his motives, but she believed he must have a good reason for asking. The very next moment, she received a call from Eric. Hello. Emma had to choose her words carefully and watch her tone because Ashley was in the car. Yet, despite her efforts, a rush of warmth flooded her face, impossible to hide. I've asked Luke to upgrade your ticket to first class. I hope that won't cause any problems. Of course not. Emma was touched by his consideration. Emma's original seat on the plane had been right next to Amber and Nathan. But she already knew Amber wasn't going to just sit quietly during the long flight. Thanks to her husband, Eric, Emma could now enjoy the flight in peace. But then a thought popped up in her mind. What about Ashley and Lisa? Emma was trying to figure out how to ask this question to Eric with Ashley sitting in the car. But Eric read through her silence. Don't worry. I've already upgraded both of them. A soft, romantic smile curled up on Emma's face. Of course he did. I should have known He's always thinking one step ahead. I'm sorry, Nathan. I shouldn't have yelled at you at the meeting. I wasn't being considerate towards you. It's okay, babe. We've been together for so many years. Don't you think I'm used to your temper by now? But from now on, you need to control it and stop fighting with Emma. I don't want you to hurt yourself. But I can't stop worrying that the two of you will fall in love again. How can you even say that? You know you're the one I love. We have a future together. Emma is in the past now. You are my everything. Besides, you're pregnant. We can't risk you getting too stressed out. If that is the case, tomorrow on the plane, you aren't allowed to take even one look at Emma. Your eyes should only be on me. As you wish, my darling. On this trip, Amber was dead set on proving to Emma who Nathan really cared for. She was determined to make Emma see that no matter how famous she became, Nathan and Global Pictures were firmly under Amber's control, leaving Emma with no hope at all. Little did Amber know that Emma had already moved on. Eric, are you going on a business trip too? Yep. My flight is tomorrow. Emma didn't want to bother him, so she went back to packing, thinking he would tell her more when he came to bed. But he ended up working through the night and leaving for work early in the morning before Emma woke up. Lisa, go collect our boarding passes. Why do I have to go? Go ahead, Lisa. Learn to follow the orders. Ugh, okay, fine. Please I will be right back. Looks like I have finally found someone new to boss around for the next few days. But to her amazement, Lisa returned with only three boarding passes. Emma, Ashley, here are your boarding passes. Lisa, let me remind you that you were supposed to bring six boarding passes, not three. And let me remind you that I'm Emma's assistant, not yours. My salary comes from her, not from Global Pictures. Why should I do favors for you? Don't you have your own assistant? Nathan glanced at Emma, hoping she'd support him. But she simply put on her sunglasses and turned away, ignoring him as if he didn't matter at all. There's more jealousy coming your way once we're on the plane. Amber thought. Just wait and watch. Sitting down, Amber wrapped her arms around Nathan, waiting for Emma to arrive so she could see her burn with jealousy. But when Emma boarded the plane, she walked straight into the first class without even glancing at them. Their existence didn't matter to Emma. Emma, our seats are over here. Where do you think you are going? I'm in the first class. Looks like I'm in first class too. Enjoy your time in economy. <laughs> Ashley looked at her boarding pass and realized she had been upgraded along with them. She smiled as she saw the confused look on Amber's face. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. This day can't get any better. This was the first time that an artist's manager was being treated better than the company's CEO. Nathan, what the hell is happening? Didn't they say that the first class was sold out? How did Emma get an upgrade? That chew with Lisa and Ashley? I have no idea. If I would have known, I would have booked the first class. Being the CEO, you are traveling in economy while your employees are traveling first class. This is not good for your reputation. Seems like someone is doing it deliberately. But who? Amber was really angry and disappointed. She had wanted to make Amber watch her and Nathan be affectionate. How could I have known she would end up in first class? Emma had assumed the first class section would be crowded. 
Yet as they settled in and the plane readied for the departure, no other passengers appeared. It was just the three of them. They had the entire cabin to themselves. Emma, those two aren't going to demand an upgrade too, are they? Don't worry, ma'am. No one else will be allowed into this section. Mr. Roberts has booked the entire cabin to ensure that Ms. Miller won't be disturbed. Emma, you have such a good life. I am so jealous of you. Ashley looked confused on hearing that name. Just as she was about to ask what was happening, Eric walked in. Am I dreaming? This can't be possible. I am flying with the CEO of Kaleidoscope Entertainment, a legend in the entertainment industry. Ashley was dumbfounded. She could have never imagined she would see Eric here. What confused her even more was Emma's reaction. She wasn't startled, just pleasantly surprised. Mr. Roberts, can you please explain why you disappeared without a word early this morning and then suddenly appeared here? Eric approached her and helped her out of her seat like a gentleman. Mrs. Roberts, it almost seems like you don't want to see me. Mr. Roberts, it's not that I don't want to see you. I'm just a little shocked. You seem to be too good at finding me, no matter where I am. This can't be true. They are... I'm guessing Emma hasn't introduced him to you yet. The CEO of Kaleidoscope Entertainment, the king of the entertainment industry, is Emma's husband. When I first found out, I was just as shocked as you are. Ashley was left speechless, her mind going completely blank from the scene she just witnessed. When did they get married? On the day Emma was supposed to marry Nathan, she found out he was cheating with Amber. Emma felt so hurt she got into a contractual marriage with Eric. But looking back, it seems like the best choice for her with Eric by her side. Though the decision turned out to be great, it is still a secret for the world. Lisa could see Ashley's expression change as she explained this. So, she decided to remind Ashley of a few things in case she got any ideas. Since Emma has let you know about this now, it must mean she values your skills. As you can see, although Emma is married to Eric, she would never consider relying solely on him. As a headstrong girl, she is depending on herself and her own abilities. Ashley, Emma is a gem, and sooner or later, she will be back at the top of the modeling world. So just think about that before you go around spilling her news. There was an intimidating tone to Lisa's voice. Ashley knew that revealing Emma's secret could have serious repercussions for her. How will Ashley react to this news from Emma? How is Ashley and Emma's equation going to change from here? What if Nathan and Amber see Emma with Eric on the plane? What plans has Emma in store for the Mexico shoot? Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.